U-Screen is a really exciting study. It's a study that will be offering HPV self-sampling to women who haven't been coming for their cervical screening, and it's the first time that they will be offering self-sampling in England, and it will be embedded within the cervical screening program for the first time. This study will help address the falling coverage rates that we've been seeing in this country for over the last 20 years. London consistently has the lowest coverage nationally, and in some boroughs, half of women aren't coming for their cervical screening. Now this is a problem because under and unscreened women are at the highest risk of developing cervical cancer. Self-sampling has been hailed as a game changer because for the first time it allows women to take their own sample for cervical screening in private at a time and place of their choosing and they don't need to have an appointment or to be examined. Now we know that many women for a long time have been not coming for their cervical screening because of a fear or a dislike of the pelvic examination or the speculum. There's also cultural reasons or religious reasons why some women don't come and also there's practical barriers like difficulty getting appointments or busy lifestyles that can be a barrier to screening self-sampling is able to address all of these. The reason why we can now do self-sampling is because unlike cytology with HPV testing, if the HPV DNA is present, it will be throughout the entire genital tract and this allows women to collect just a vaginal sample. The accuracy of the test is very similar to clinician taken samples and this is shown in an international meta-analysis. Another advantage of self-sampling is we know that it's highly acceptable to women and they generally prefer it to a clinician taken test and we also know that it increases uptake in women who don't attend cervical screening. And of course in the era of COVID-19, self-sampling offers a safer and socially distanced approach to cervical screening. U-Screen will run in five London boroughs where the cervical screening coverage is particularly low. So these are Camden, Barnet, Islington, Tower Hamlets and Newham. The aims of U-Screen are to test the new end-to-end -end pathways for introducing self-sampling within the NHS cervical screening program and to start providing the evidence base for how best to implement self-sampling in England. We also want to estimate the increase in uptake and coverage associated with offering self-sampling and the SIN2 plus detection rate. Self-samples will count towards the QOF and because the study is on the NIHR portfolio, you will receive a payment of £150. So I'm really excited about this study. It's a huge opportunity, to be honest, both for general practice, um, but more importantly for patients. The use screen is for cervical screening non-attenders who are overdue by at least six months. We've got two approaches to try and enable these women to get an HPV test done. One of them is a mail-out. Uh, the list is generated by the NHS England Cervical Screening due list, and they get mailed out a kit and they can send it back. The other approach is the opportunistic approach. If a woman's coming into the practice for something else and we see the EMIS flag highlighting to us that she's a woman who's overdue by at least six months, we can offer her a self-sampling test on that day. The opportunistic offer is really simple. We know it works because we've used it in previous studies and it's flexible. Women can either do the self-sample in the practice or she can take the kit home with her. Actually, I can just see from our system that it looks as if you're overdue your smear. Is that right? Yeah, well, I received a letter, but it's really difficult to get to the surgery sometimes. Or we may be on the phone and that's a great opportunity to offer the self-sampling. It's a vaginal swab. And it only takes a few minutes to explain. Would you like us to post it out to you or would you like to pop in and get the kit? Send it out. Is that okay? The U-Screen kit contains everything a woman needs to collect and return the self-sample. The kit includes an information booklet, a flock swab, instruction on how to collect and return the sample, and an optional questionnaire. The level of the GP practice involvement will be very minimal. If your practice does decide to take part, there are a few things that your team will have to do and they're all very straightforward. Firstly, you'll have to nominate your lead contact and the team will have to attend a 30-minute virtual workshop where they will get more of an overview of the opportunistic offer and the result management. Sample results are recorded by the practice. If the sample is negative, then the next cervical screening due date is reset according to the woman's age. If the result is positive, the women are asked to attend the practice for a routine cervical screen, as we normally would have done. And then lastly, they will just have to monitor the sample stock and make sure that every clinical room is stocked up for those opportunistic offerings. Many women may have questions about cervical cancer, HPV or self-sampling, and the U-Screen team has been working with Joe's Cervical Cancer Trust to set up a dedicated helpline to help support women who may have questions. 
We are here at Joe's Cervical Cancer Trust to answer any queries that we can from anybody. All of our volunteers and all of our team members have been trained by the U-Screen team. We really hope that the study is successful and it has a really high engagement. And with that, we really hope that it brings England one step closer to the introduction of self-sampling across the country. Please complete the online expression of interest form. You'll find the link in the invitation email. If you have any questions, you can also contact the Uscreen team via email.